Hello everybody, so today for you guys I'm doing another Urban Decay Electric Palette tutorial. This one is a little bit uh, more toned down than like my original electric look, the one that was very colorful, but it still is obviously a lot more vamped up than my wearable electric look. So it's kind of an in-between look. There is definitely color going on, but I paired it with some neutrals to sort of, you know, tone it down a little bit, make it more wearable, even though it is still quite a bright look and I know many of you um, would not wear this on a daily basis. But I will be doing, again, Again, more really colorful looks more like really wearable looks I have just been getting so into this palette it's so versatile and that's just the thing that I've been loving about it you know you can do such a variety of looks so anyway if you're interested on how I achieve this look today then just keep on watching okay so to start off this look I'm just gonna be going into any sort of a warm brown shade this here is cork by Mac it's a little bit deeper than soft brown usually I like to use soft brown but I'm wanting sort of like a darker brown in the crease today so any sort of you know your mid-tone brown blending shade will do and just pop this right on through your crease. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a white shadow base to my lid. Because like I said in my review of the palette, I think it's really important when you're using this palette to use some sort of a white base. It just really helps the colors to pop even more. So this is the Jordana one. But anyone will do, just slap that on top of your lid and then blend it out. Then we're going to go into the electric palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade called Gonzo today, mainly for that bright pop of blue. So I'm just going to be using the brush that it comes with. I know I've told you guys I don't really love this brush, but um, I just kind of like using it when I'm using this palette because it helps to make sure that none of my brushes get stained with this color, like the brushes I actually like. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you know how you have those brushes that when you're doing like makeup application, you're like, eh, it's okay if this gets dirty, I don't you know, really care for it. Too. That's kind of how I feel about this brush. Um, but it does the job when you're just packing color on the lid, so as I get my hair out of my face, um, just start to apply this all over your lid. This is a shade that you really kind of have to gradually build up, as you can see, like, it really it doesn't like to blend out super quickly, so just take your time with this, you know, you need a little bit of patience, but you'll get there. Then I'm just going to go back to that blending brush, this doesn't have anything on it, but just kind of buffing out that shade a little bit, because while it is kind of like a cut crease look, we don't want it to be like too insane and too drastic, so just kind of make sure that you're blending that brown nicely in with that blue. And then once you have that shade as bright as you want it to be, go into some sort of a darker matte brown. I'm going to be using um, Sable from the Lorac Pro Palette. It's just really nice and warm. I think warmer browns complement this look a lot better than cooler browns do. So anything that just has a nice sort of ready, warm base to it will work. And with this, just take it right on kind of through your outer V portion of your lid. And then I'm just going to take a little mixture of white and cream and use that as my highlight. I don't want like a super drastic highlight with this. Definitely if you want it to be a very, very dramatic look, you could go with like a very, very stark white. But uh, I'm just going to kind of do a little mixture and then pop this right underneath the brow bone. I love how I'm like trying to explain this as if it's not like a dramatic, like insane kind of look. Like if you want to make this more dramatic, it's it's pretty much already there. So the next step I'm going to take is just to do my eyeliner. Um, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk Bent Liner Brush and then my Essence Gel Liner. And I'm just going to be winging it out like I usually do. I'm really into the whole winged eyeliner thing like everybody is right now. I've kind of been into it for a few years, but just recently like it's sort of become like an everyday thing. So, um, you know, just do your eyeliner however you'd like. Then once you've done that, take any sort of a black liner and just push it up along your tight line. I should grab a mirror here so I don't get this all over my eyeball. Now we're going to go on to the lower lash line. So again, like I said with these colors, having some sort of a base is really important. So I'm just going to be taking any type of green liner. This one here is from Tarte. It's called Azurite Green. But any kind of a jadey green, even just if you have like a grassy green, a lime green, you can even use like that white that we used earlier. I'm just going to be using this because I have it. And um, just apply a little bit of this to your lower lash line. 
Then take any sort of a small little brush that you like to use for your lower lash line and go into the shade called Freak, which is a really pretty, like, grassy, shimmery green. And then use this to blend that other liner out. Once you have that done, just apply some of your favorite mascara to your top lashes. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Va Va Voom Sexy Booster, which is my favorite of the moment. Then we're just going to take a nude liner. This one here is from Rimmel. It's from the whole Scandalize collection. And run this right along your waterline. It's kind of an optional step. You could definitely do this with a black, but I think that the um, nude kind of just really opens up the eye a bit more and it makes the look a little bit more fresh looking. And then go in and just apply some mascara to your bottom lashes. I like using the uh, Bad Gal Lash, this little sample I have for my bottom lashes. I love using mascara samples because it's just like the perfect size to get, you know, right on in there. Okay, so we're almost done with the eyes. Now the last thing that I like to do is just take some sort of a shimmery, glowy kind of highlight color. This here is Shroom from MAC. And then just place a little bit of that right around here on your inner corner. You could definitely use Revolt from the electric palette. If you want to go for something kind of glittery and silvery, that would be really pretty if you're kind of wanting to go all out with this okay, look. so that is it for the eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys out and show you what I'm going to use for the rest of the face. Okay, guys, so for the rest of the face here, I just kept it, you know, pretty simple. We have a lot going on on the eyes. You got to balance everything out, yada, yada, yada. Um, so for foundation, I just used my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I've been really just getting into applying this to the middle of my face and then taking my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and just using that to buff it out. It's just kind of been a good to routine for me lately. And then for the cheeks, I wanted something corally because corals and blues, like anything, or peaches and blues, anything in that tone is like my favorite color combination. Uh, at least as far as like makeup goes. I don't know, I just really get into it. I think that whenever you're doing anything sort of bluey or tealy, um, any sort of a coral color just really, really complements the looks. So I use this Maybelline A Dream Bouncy Blush. This is in the shade uh, number 30 Candy Coral. It's just really, really, really pretty. It has a really nice just warmth to the cheeks and it doesn't stand out too much and then for the lips I wanted to keep it very nude so I use this Palladio lipstick in the shade nude this is one of my go-to nude lipsticks it just is flattering it has a little bit of like a brownie peachiness to it so again it kind of complements the um, bluish brownie tones we got going on and then for a gloss I just wanted a little bit of shine but not much color so I use this Corez um, cherry oil hydrating lip gloss in the shade light pink which is kind of a light pink. I would describe it more of just like a peach, but it goes on very, very sheer. So it works well with the lipsticks. So anyway, that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you found this fun. Let me know what you guys thought of the look. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like rating and then leave me a little comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments or replying back. So anyway, I love all you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.